So this is me in the mid-90s, Taliban 1 era. I was working for the Danish Afghanistan Committee and uh, I was there with a rural development, uh, with an agricultural advisor and with Gul Rahman who really looked after our security. He was our driver and I had the privilege of working with these Afghan communities at a time when the Russians had left, when the Mujahideen fighting was sort of dying down, the Taliban were coming up, which was tricky, but there were large parts of Afghanistan that became um, liberated to go back. And Dakar had trust, the word that, that uh, both, both Jackie and Natalie used. They, they had, and what happened is collectively over time, you achieve a lot more and you move from tangible to intangible. And one of the things that I think is a key learning is that confidence and, and recognition of interdependence breeds ambition about what more can we do, where you start off really quite concerned about can we do this together. We need to shift. This community needs to step into the space and be resilient. And refugees communities in some senses are resilient, but they also have a really studied and learnt experience of dependence. When you leave with nothing, and your children and you're dependent on others providing food, you, you, you've lost that mechanism. And these communities had been fractured. So my role was to work with men and women separately, because it's a very segregated community, to build that confidence again and to start to do things where the community could take control. So quickly, it was about going back to the you villages. Were quite concerned about can we do this together? You end up doing a lot more. And so they built a story about local leadership, about a broader leadership base where women were recognised as having a voice, not equity, but voice. And they built solutions and they strengthened their interdependence.